Top three. Bill Snyder calling it quits at K-State. Two stints, Brett. Uh, it spans 27 years. 27 years in Manhattan, which is an amazing job that he's done there. Um, again, how would you summarize his impact and the legacy that he built at Kansas State? I mean, it's incredible. I, I've, I've gone, you know, I'm a, a Big 12 alum at Oklahoma State. I, I've followed him for years. I mean, people, younger viewers don't realize how bad Kansas State was when he got there. Imagine how bad Rutgers is right now. They were 10 times worse than that. They were literally, they were barely a Division I AA program. They had, the facilities were horrible. Uh, you know, the one key for him is they obviously, because they were so bad, they, they couldn't get anybody else in there. So it's not like if he had a few losing seasons, they were going to get rid of sure. him. They gave him the time to build the program. He made some great decisions, got some great young assistant mm -hmm. coaches. Bob Stoops, Mike Stoops, Jim Levitt, Dana Dimmel, Mark Mangino. All these guys cut their teeth with Bill Snyder at, at Kansas State, and he built up this program. I've said this before, and I really believe it. I think Bill Snyder is the best college coach of all time. Has he won any national championships? Wow. Absolutely not. But when you look at the resources that he has had, he has overachieved so much more than any other coach. Wow. I just wish he would have had the opportunity to coach somewhere at an Oklahoma, at an Alabama, at a Texas, with that talent. at a USC, with the resources, with the facilities, with the talent to see what he would have achieved. But because again, being in Manhattan, Kansas, nothing against Manhattan, guys, I've been there. <laughs> but come on, they were actually a game away one year from they won the Big 12 title, mm -hmm. of playing for the national title. That is remarkable. We will never see anything wow. done. And on top of that, he is a true gentleman. And the coolest thing is, anytime you interview him, a week later, you get a handwritten note. Come on. Thank you. Yeah, it's from Coach Snyder. Hand thanking you for taking the time to talk to him. And the amazing part One is, as time. you mentioned, after the first stint when he retired, and then they went right back to where they were without yeah. him, and then he comes back and rebuilds the program.